Well, it looks like snow this week in Ohio, so I'm excited to do a wintry landscape with you. Today we'll need our watercolors, some table salt, water, a paintbrush, some crayons, a Sharpie or a black crayon if you have it, some scissors and glue. Here we go. To start our landscape, I'm going to draw the land. This soft wavy line will represent the snow. Notice how there's just a gentle curve. You can leave it at one or add another curve connecting to it like a hill. Here, watch as I use some triangles and rectangles to draw some pine trees. I'll show you how to do a trickier one where I layer some triangles as well. But you can be creative and add yours wherever you want. Be sure to leave the space for a snowman if you'd like to create one later. Decided to make my trees a little more unique and add some lines and shapes and patterns inside. They almost look like pieces of fabric. Next thing I want you to try is to use your white crayon and draw some snow falling in the sky. Press hard, and to create a snowflake, you can use an X and a T. I draw an X and then a T over top. I'm also using a blue crayon to add some swirling lines for wind. Watch as I use this blue crayon to draw a snowflake. You can see it better than you can the white. The next step is our watercolor and salt. You'll get a really wet brush. You can even wet your paper a little. I'm just going to be using blue and purple together for the entire sky. Two things are going to happen. You'll notice that your snowflakes will show up and when our paint is still wet, what I want you to do is use that salt and sprinkle it right on top. Don't paint over that area again, just let it dry and do its thing. Salt and watercolor do really awesome things together and I can't wait for you to see what it looks like when it dries. Continue to paint one section at a time, making sure it's really wet and the blues and purples are blended together and then sprinkle the salt. Finish with the painting step, I'll just paint inside my triangle trees with green. step is most important. Find a safe place for your painting to dry completely. When it's dry, scrape the salt in the garbage can and bring it back for the next step. I have gathered around the house three circles. A small circle, a medium circle, and a larger circle. They're just caps from things that I have around the house. I want you to trace all three circles on a white scrap piece of paper and then cut them out. If you don't have things to trace, you can draw them freehand. Your painting is completely dry and the salt has been scraped in the garbage can. Take your circles and a glue stick and build your snowman. Start with the biggest circle first. rest of this project, you get to design your snowman however you want. I want you to find the scrap paper in your sketchbook. Maybe you can create a hat or a scarf, some mittens, a broom, some earmuffs. You get to decide. I can't wait to see what you create. Don't forget to share a photo with me in Padlet. And I hope you have fun and get to play in the snow this week. Talk to you soon.